Here is our video on limits at infinity, our second example. So we're going to consider the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the quantity x cubed plus the square root x to the sixth plus 5x cubed. Now the first thing we want to do is think about what would happen if we plug in really large negative numbers to this equation. So if we plug in really large negative numbers, we're going to get the first term x cubed is going to trend towards a negative infinity, and this square root of a bunch of stuff is going to be a positive number always, and this x to the sixth plus 5x cubed, that's getting really, really big, so that's going to trend towards a positive infinity. So we get something of a type infinity minus infinity. And so that's something that's an indeterminate form, so we need to rewrite this so we can actually take the limit. So the first thing we're going to want to notice is this, uh, this thing we're taking the limit of here, we can actually multiply by its conjugate to try and make this look nicer. So we're going to do that first. So we'll multiply this by x cubed minus the square root of x to the sixth plus 5x cubed. And then we're going to have to also divide by x cubed minus the square root of x to the sixth plus 5x cubed. So really what we're doing is we're multiplying by 1, but in a special way so that it doesn't change the value of our limit, but it just changes the way it looks. So now we're going to get the limit as x approaches negative infinity. So we'll get the first term squared, so that's going to be x to the sixth, and then we're going to subtract from it the second term squared, which is just x to the sixth plus 5x cubed. And then our denominator here, we're just going to have that x to the cubed minus r square root. And you'll notice conveniently uh, this negative is going to distribute here. And our x to the sixth both cancel out. So we can just rewrite this as the limit as x approaches negative infinity of a negative 5x cubed all over our x cubed minus the square root and all of the stuff under that. So what are we going to do next? We still have something where if we consider our values as x is approaching infinity, we still have stuff that's going to give us a form infinity over infinity. So we're not quite done yet. So. Now we want to use our strategy of dividing by the uh, largest power of x in the denominator. So in that case, this is going to be our x cubed. So we're going to rewrite this thing, limit as x approaches negative infinity, of negative 5x cubed, and we're going to divi divide that by x cubed. Then we have our x cubed divided by x cubed. Now we have a problem here. We want to bring that x cubed under the square root. So we'll notice that if we're dividing by x cubed, so that's 1 over x cubed, that's what we want to bring into the square root. Really, we want to make it 1 over the square root of x to the 6, right? But when x is really large negative, then this 1 over x cubed is actually going to be negative. But 1 over the square root of x to the 6, well, we're taking the square root of a positive number, and that's going to be positive. So since our term on the left is actually negative, we need to account for that with a negative sign here. So we're actually going to divide this 
by the square root of negative x to the sixth. And that is the same thing as x cubed when we have negative values of x. So now we can actually do that. So x approaches negative infinity. Our numerator here, those x cubes are just going to cancel out. So that's going to be negative 5. And then our x cubes in the denominator is just going to give us a 1. Now we have two negatives. We have, I'll box this off here so you can sort of see what's going on. We have this negative here and this negative here, both of those that I just circled. Those two are going to make a positive. So we'll get a 1 plus. Now we'll bring that square root of x to the 6 inside. So we'll get x to the 6 over x to the 6 plus 5x cubed over x to the 6. Okay, so let's rewrite this again. Limit as x approaches negative infinity. We have a negative 5 all over 1 plus. Now all of this stuff is under that radical now, okay? So we're just going to simplify it. These x to the 6 is that those just make 1. And then we have a 5 times an x cubed over an x to the 6. That's just going to be 5 over x to the 6. So now we can actually plug in our, our negative infinity and take the limit. Now remember, we're not actually plugging in the negative infinity. We're just thinking about values that are really large in the negative direction. So when that happens, this 5 over x to the 6 is going to be trending towards 0, because it's a number over some function with the power. And so that's just going to divide that number into infinitely small pieces. So it's going to be trending towards 0. And what are we left over with? A negative 5 all over a 1 plus a 1, because we still have the square root of 1 here. And so that is going to be negative 5 over 2, and that completely solves our limit. So the limit of that original function is negative 5 over 2.